getting started with scratch programming to use scratch programming language two softwares have to be downloaded in the computer one is adobe air first you have to download adobe air then only scratch will work after that you have to download scratch from the official website of scratch programming language there there are many versions of scratch according to the school book the version used is scratch 2.0 so i have downloaded scratch 2.0 already it is shown in the desktop here double click on it to open the scratch software or the scratch editor it is called scratch editor because we can edit our objects for animation in the scratch software now what is scratch software already scratch is a visual programming language developed to create animations short games making visual stories etc it provides various tools for creating different objects putting animation on it so this type of animations can be created by using programming program is a set of instructions given to the computer to carry out a particular task it is visual programming because by means of visual effects we program the animation that means we want an object to animate in the stage so according to our instruction the animation will take place for that reason it is called visual programming that means whatever we will give instruction or program according to our instruction the visual effects will take place for that reason it is visual programming now this is a scratch editor that means we can edit our objects in this window so it is a scratch editor now we will get introduced with the components of scratch editor the different components of scratch window is shown first of all in this left side this white space in the background of this cat you can see this cat behind this cat this is a white space that is called the stage just like an stage of an auditorium and this cat is an object which is present on this stage so any object present on the stage is called sprite just like in the auditorium if anybody is performing dance or song he or she has to come on the stage so just like that similar to that this background is the stage this object is the sprite the top this flag button when you click on this flag it means we start the program that means we start the animation this is the stop button for ending the animation now below this stage there is a space this space is the sprite list that means whatever objects we will use in our project for animation whatever objects we take in this stage will appear here that means we can use multiple objects on a single project or multiple sprites on a single project so whatever sprites i will take in my project those will be shown in this sprite area or sprite list sprite area or sprite list both we can call it by name so by definition stage this stage is a platform where objects appear while creating an animation an effect added to any object 
can be visualized on this stage only means whatever effects will put on this object will be shown on this stage only if i create the a program in this scratch to move this object then i will write the program in this right side this is called script area i will tell you later whenever i write that program according to that program or my instructions this object will do some activity on this stage so it is told as any effect added to any object can be visualized on this stage so this stage is a platform where all the objects appear while creating an animation and all those effects given to those objects can be visualized here only all the animations take place here only according to our program or instructions the objects do some activities and we can see it on this stage and each object appearing on the stage is called sprite so this white background you can see this is the stage and this cat by default a cat is shown whenever you open scratch window by default this cat is taken as the default object so this is the sprite each object appearing on the stage is termed as sprite now sprite can be taken from library either from library see choose sprite from library either we can select our desired sprite from library or we can draw a new sprite and take it in our project or we can upload a sprite from a file means in our computer any picture or any sprite may be saved that i can browse and upload it in my project if i wish to take a active photo we can use this new sprite from camera that means instantly i will take a photo from my device using the web camera or the laptop camera and instantly that will capture a picture and i will add that picture as a sprite so these four types of options are available to insert a sprite either from the library library means inbuilt there is a inbuilt there is a collection of sprites already given within the scratch editor so how we can add sprites that will come to later because it is given as a separate topic afterwards so that time i will discuss in details now sprite list already told whatever sprites i take on the stage will appear here so this is called the sprite area or sprite list now blocks here you can see under this scripts some categories are given these are called blocks blocks are referred to as a group of commands see some categories are given motion looks sound pen each category is a block if i click on a different category a list of commands appear under that category so these are blocks that means each category is called a block that means each category contains some related instructions or commands within them now block palettes as i have told each block contains a list of commands related commands looks is a category it contains some commands related to some looks of the sprite motion contains some commands related to applying motion effects to the sprite so according to the activity 
or the effect the comments have been grouped under some categories called blocks and when we click on each category or each block a list of comments appear under them these are called as block palettes so you can see these are the block palettes under events when we click on motion another list appears so this list of comments fall under the category of motion block so these are the block palettes under motion when i click on sound these are the block palettes under the category or block sound so likewise there are different blocks and under each block there is a list of comments or block palettes now flag button already told after writing our program if we click on this flag button our animation will start here if i click on the stop button the animation will stop here now script area the rightmost pane of scratch window you can see here this rightmost pane of scratch editor this is the script area it is used to collect the block palettes while writing a program that means whatever instructions i will give here according to that instructions the animation will take place so a group of instructions to carry out a particular task is called program so i will write my program in script area whatever scratch programs are written in this script area and according to that programs the animation appears here so it is called visual programming now as this block palettes are individual comments so whatever instructions i require i can just take it from here drag and drop it in the scratch script area so you can say that this individual palettes you are seeing here these are like comments or this individual are separate instructions or comments already inbuilt i cannot give instructions according to my own wish whatever is available here i have to take that instruction and then use it in my program that means i can create a program using this available commands only i cannot use my own commands here and this commands are very understandable and very interactive that means by seeing the commands you will understand what it is wanting to say like for example under motion there are some commands suppose you want to move the object 10 steps you can select this one move 10 steps and take it in your program or script area these are just available commands you can choose and take any one you wish according to your need and put it here in your program so move 10 steps is there according to your need you can change the steps this white portion that means this is changeable but this move steps this is not changeable only the number given under it 10 that is changeable you can make it 7 so like this we can do the program and doing programs are covered in the later part of the chapter we'll come to it shortly so the main thing is that by using this block palettes we can write or create our own program here we can use different types of block palettes one from motion i have taken one from look i can take so when we bring it they will join together in this 
gaps. The gaps are made such that they will join together. So these block palettes when come to this area are known as scripts. So actually these block palettes are only the instructions. When these instructions are used in our program, they are called as scripts.